field is our second senior, Sean Parker. Sean is escorted by his parents, Tony and Maddie. Sean came to NKU from Oldham County High School and is from Buckner, Kentucky. This season, Parker has provided much needed depth for the Norse and, is, and helped lead the Norse to the 2010 Division II National Championship and also helped lead NKU to the regional tournament last season. For his career, Parker has played in 34 career matches for the Norse. Ladies and gentlemen, number seven, Sean Parker. Our third and final senior is Michael Bartlett. Michael! Michael is by his parents, Bob and Lisa Bartlett, and his sister, Kelsey Bartlett. From Alexandria, Kentucky, Bartlett has started every match for the Norse this season and wears the captain arm, captain's armband while helping control possession in the midfield and chasing down attackers on defense. He has appeared in 65 career games, making 52 starts for NKU. Michael helped lead the Norse in the 2010 Division II National Championship season, and last year was named to the All-GLBC and All-Midwest Region teams. Ladies and gentlemen, number three, Michael Bartlett. Hey! Fans, let's hear one more round of applause for these three great North seniors. Let's first talk a little bit about this game. Uh, one to nothing loss to Lipscomb in overtime. Lipscomb, a very talented team, yes. and you guys battled the whole 90 plus minutes. I mean, it's, it just comes down to is they're a very good team. You know, their their record doesn't show how good they are technically, and they move the ball real, real well. And you know, I thought they outplayed us for the most part. I think probably with us, it's it's been a long year getting beat up a little bit here and there, and we just didn't show up and play as well as we could, normally would. Almost had a, a great storyline in the opening a few minutes of the match. Sean Parker on senior day was right. in the starting lineup for the first time this season. And uh, within the first five minutes, I uh, had a shot that uh, really almost went in. Uh, the keeper right. came out made a nice save, and uh, that would have been a pretty neat story. It would have been neat. It's good for Sean. Sean's a great kid. He's got a great personality. He's meant a lot to this program with the way he works every day. He's a good leader, and he's going to be a good coach someday if he decides to go into that profession. We've talked a little bit about him in uh, prior interviews. Michael Bartlett, your uh, captain this season, also a senior, his final game of his career. A uh, guy that is uh, one of the probably the smallest midfielders, at least central midfielders in, in the league, if not the country, and uh, has really etched out a nice career for himself. Mike is like the Energizer Bunny. He never stops m running around, and he's, he's done a great job. Uh, the biggest thing I like about Mike is that every day of practice, every day in training, every day on a game, you know what you're going to get out of him, and it's it's all out. and. Uh, he is going to be one piece to this puzzle we're going to have a hard time replacing next year because his work ethic on the field and off the field is uh, second to none. Now, a guy you didn't have for all four years, uh, just one year this year, uh, Mohab El Tawila, uh, also senior day, uh, picked up an assist against Western Illinois, so he got in the yep. stat sheet. Uh, just a, a, a great guy to be around if you know Mohab. Mohab's a great kid. He's been great for the team. He's, he's, he's worked really hard uh, for being 23 years old and coming out and starting running around with these 18-year-olds. He really had to work hard over the summer and in preseason. And he's really done uh, well for us. You know, I didn't get as much playing time as, as we liked. He plays a little bit differently than we normally would. But... Uh, I mean, I think it's a great experience for him to come from another country, to come over here to be so well accepted by everybody, and he's such a great team player. Tonight, uh, your final game as a Norse. Uh, it, very early on, he almost got on the end of a goal. I uh, got a little bit of a through ball, but the keeper made out and made a good save. Uh, I mean, um, keeper made a great play. I, I mean, unfortunately, my touch was a little long. I'm not quick enough, so, uh, you know, I, I wasn't able to get the shot into that. I mean, great, like I said, keeper made a good save. You're here all four years as a Norse, so you leave one of the more, uh, one of the most accomplished seniors years in the program's history. You won a Division II National Championship, went to three NCAA Division II tournaments, and then your senior year uh, was the very first ever Division I team. So uh, a really accomplished career. Uh, reflect on that a little bit. Um, I mean, I was, uh, I'm just fortunate to play with a bunch of good players. I mean, uh, that National Championship team 2010. That was, a, that was a great group of players. And uh, I mean, my freshman year, we had, I mean, uh, I mean, short of that, I mean, I've just been lucky. I mean, every year since, I mean, until this year, we've been ranked number one in the nation, uh, D2. Um, you know, I've been just fortunate, really lucky and blessed and stuff. So, you know, I, if anything, I thank those guys for, you know, allowing me to play them. What are your plans post-college? Post um, uh, going to coaching. I'm coaching right now. Um, you know, I'm doing all right in it right now. So, you know, 
that's really my passion. That's what I want to do. Um, I mean, just finishing school and all that. Well, sure. Ab, your uh, stint here at NKU was a short one, just uh, your senior season, but uh, your thoughts on uh, on just your season overall? Uh, I think it was great coming out here and playing um, on my last year, my senior year. Um, I, uh, I I couldn't play in my first year, my first year, a couple of years, so I decided to join my team, uh, team of my senior year. I think it's a great session, and I've gained a lot of experience, and I had, I had fun with the boys. So, uh, do you plan on going back to Egypt after you graduate? Um, or are you gonna... Yes, that's my long-term plan, yes, to go back to Egypt. I'll talk about your teammates. Uh, obviously, uh, guys, you didn't really know uh, very much uh, coming into this year, but you step on to the field as a senior, and uh, are really just a leader on the team. And uh, just also about your teammates. It was great um, blending in with the boys. Uh, it wasn't really hard at all to get along, and uh, from day one, it was uh, it was easy to uh, play with them. As long as uh, as long as you can play the game, you can get get along with everyone, anyone any, from different from all around, from all, all different cultures and backgrounds. It doesn't really matter. It was great being part of the team, and uh, hopefully I'll, I'll try to come back for spring a little bit, to play a little bit. So it's always fun to be around playing soccer with you. Final game here as uh, an NKU Norse. Uh, seems like it flew by quickly those four years. Uh, just reflect a little bit on your career. Uh, it was a great time. Um, it really did feel like it flew by. My freshman year, I um, had a little adjusting to do. I wasn't ready for you know the, the bigger size and the faster play, but I worked a lot of the off season. Came back my sophomore year and improved a lot. Got in the starting 11 and say from there we ended up winning a national championship. Last year we did good again, or yeah, last year. Um, we worked hard, but then we got outbeat by Rockers, which they clearly played better than us the final season because we never showed up to play. But it's been fun. This year, winning however many games, seven games or whatever, it's awesome in D1. I mean, there are teams where there are people telling us that we're going to end up last in the league, and we came far from that. So. And you end up, uh, at your career, one of the winningest uh, soccer players in NKU history. You win a national championship at the Division II level. And it's got to be pretty cool for you. Uh, not only did you uh, succeed at the highest level in Division II, but you also take the Norse, in fact, captain the Norse through their first season in Division I. It's awesome. Um, when I was a senior in high school, I, I dreamed. I came to watch them in the Final Four in Tampa. If they didn't win, I dreamed of winning the first championship with them. Now, every time I came to practice, I'd see that sign up on it. It says 2010 National Champions. I couldn't feel better.